Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. I'm Sully Pones, and today we're going to be making our way through this warp pipe. It's been a couple of days since we've been here, but now we're finally going to be making our way down this warp pipe and seeing once and for all what Bowser was doing with those freaking ores and what he was slaving those toads to do. But as you guys can see, we're not in Bowser's castle. What the heck, game? Are you kidding me? Are you serious, game? This is not Bowser's castle. We're still in Twinsy Tropic Dungeon, man. Alright, so, I don't know, I honestly was expecting us at this point to be in Bowser's Castle. As you can see on the map, the freaking pipe is red, so... One might assume that this is the unique pipe that goes all the way down Bowser's Castle. But, anyways, there's a couple of, uh, beans and, I guess, coins here that I'm gonna go ahead and grab. Just because I don't think or foresee myself coming back to this area in the future. I actually also, um... Went back and I obtained the coins and beans that I skipped over in the last episode, just so you guys are all, you know, satisfied that I went ahead and did that. Nobody could say that I didn't do it or be upset that I skipped over anything, because I actually went back and collected them, so you guys don't have to worry about that. But dang, this kind of sucks, man. I was really hoping that we'd finally make it to Bowser's Castle. Like, they've been building up to this for a while now, and we're still here in Twinsy Tropic Dungeon is what it feels like, but... I don't know, there's another war pipe uh, here in this place, and it actually looks like it might, in fact, lead to Bowser's Castle, so please let it be the war pipe. Um, I just gotta get these last couple of items quickly. Okay, that's 10 coins, nice and clean. Look at that. All these coins over here, and there is some conveyor belt thing over there. Not necessarily sure what that does or what it's for, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not even gonna really pay much attention to it, because I really don't think it does anything useful. We got counter charge glove and another 50 coins, so not bad. We've been just looting up items left and right ever since we've made it here, which is, I guess, a good thing, but yo, what's happening? Oh my god, it's a boss battle, isn't it? You're gonna tell me it's a boss. Why did we stop? Is something bothering you? What's the wrong, Mario? What are you telling me? You have a strange feeling about what lies ahead? Yeah, dummy, it's Bowser's castle, dude. Eh, don't overthink it. If you didn't feel at least a little strange about what lies ahead... Well, that would be pretty strange in and of itself, right? That's what I said, Starlo. It means the same thing. Potato, potato, man. Anyways, I actually don't believe for a second that there is nothing strange up ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and save just in case there is a boss battle and I end up failing terribly. Then I can just go back, start here, do some training, and then, yeah, fight the boss. See, I told you you guys were overthinking things. There was nothing to worry about at all. Shut up, Starlo. It's better to be safe than sorry. That's what they say, man. Safe than sorry, right? But anyways, up the war pipe we go. Nope. Hold it right there. Sounds like a coupling, man. Visitors beyond this point need to pass. Uh-oh. <laughs> After all, past this point lies Bowser's Castle, which I'm sure you knew. Yeah, we didn't actually know that. We thought it was like Peach's Castle. Hey, who said we need a pass? And who are you all anyways? I can't see anything past this bushy hair of yours. Dude, it's definitely the Kooplings, man. What's this balloon squeaking on about? What? How rude. I'm no balloon. I'm Starlo, representative of the Star Sprites and leader of this team of heroes. If it weren't so dark in here, you'd be quaking in your boots, believe me. Speaking of boots, that's what you get for trying to sneak through here without a pass. What happened? Oh, God dang, Luigi. No, Luigi's dead. Luigi, are you all right? It doesn't look so. Your mustache fell off. Stick it back on before anyone notices. What? Luigi has a fake mustache? No way. There's no way, dude. I don't believe that. Starlo, why would you say that? Now you got me thinking. Please don't tell me Luigi has... This is so weird. Now I actually can't stop thinking about it. Wait, no. You're Paper Mario, aren't you? My mistake. Does Luigi have a fake mustache or not? Now you've gone and made me mad. Uh-oh. Time to unleash my ultra-secret special attack. Well, what is that? Oh, God. Is that... St that can't be Win Wendy, can it? Supernova Sparkle? There's no way that's Wendy. We just defeated Wendy, like, 10 episodes ago or something, right? No, that was Starlo! Cough, cough, gasp! Uh -huh. What's wrong, guys? Sorry for the collateral damage, guys. I guess Supernova Sparkle isn't the best attack for tight spaces. Maybe you should leave the attacking to us. Okay, so we have Larry. Who else? Hell, he had a little star tattooed on his head. Maybe that's from Starlo. Now you're gonna get it. So I knew there was a coupling in here. Hey, you're a real shrimp. It was so dark in there, I had no idea. Shut it! Don't make me show you what I can really do. Luigi, why are you on that side? You're standing on the wrong side of this face-off. And where's my backup? Ludwig, get your shell over here. Jeez, Larry, you're so demanding, man. Oops, my bad. I got stuck trying to get out of that pipe. 
Are you ready? It's time to get this started for reals. Ready when you are. It's pummeling time! And just like that, guys, we're going to be taking on Ludwig and Larry Koopa. I've been thinking, how come you guys get to use battle cards and we don't? Yeah, what's stopping us from using them, too? Absolutely nothing, man. Absolutely nothing. This card increases speed. Larry, we just need two Dark Star Points to use this bad boy. You got it, boss. Dark Star Points coming up. See, every time we hit you, we'll earn Dark Star Points, which we can then use to pummel you with battle cards. All right. Me first. Get ready to follow my lead. Right behind you, brother. Okay, here they go. They're gonna attack me. What am I gonna do? I guess I gotta dodge. Okay, ooh, ooh. Okay, thank goodness for that. And, oh, yeah. I kind of expected them to come after Paper Mario next. It only made sense. So, now these guys could use battle cards, which is kind of scary to think about. Because battle cards are huge in this game. Like, they really make it or break it for a battle. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by just using a POW increase. I actually flipped over one of the uh, Paper Goombas. Or I guess the paper enemy battle cards, it only affects paper enemies, so there's really no need to have it. It's just a waste of star points I even if, if I even attempted to use it, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, and then we're going to do, I guess, this. My all-time favorite trio attack, trio uh, world gig. It's a really easy trio attack to actually do, and it does a lot of damage if you get through all of these rings, which is pretty amazing. Plus, it looks nice. It reminds me of uh, Woohoo. What was that thing? It was uh, Mount something in Mario Kart seven woohoo mountain mount who something is that glitchy level in mario kart 7 i don't remember because it's been like a year since i've played that game but there was a level and it had a major glitch and then nintendo ended up patching it that's what that reminds me of but anyways we did 90 damage on both of these guys which isn't bad we're gonna go ahead and do an additional how much damage does this do like 30 it does 30 damage which is pretty nice attack some three times and then we're gonna do drill shell my favorite bro attack at the time for uh, luigi we're gonna go ahead and use this because it does a lot of damage only problem about this with smaller enemies it's kind of hard to gauge the point of the uh the shell on like the middle of their heads or i guess the middle of the enemy otherwise you're not gonna get like a good you're gonna get an okay so you won't deal as much damage uh as you would if you land directly like in the middle of the enemy if that makes sense so uh it's kind of like a tricky bro attack to do just on smaller enemies but that's it and this one actually is too because i noticed that sometimes when i'm doing this attack and for example i'll click b and then a because Luigi obviously will come down first not all the time but let's say Luigi's coming down first so I click B and then A uh, when I click A Mario always screws up for some reason what what did he just do okay he's gonna do it again to paper he's gonna do it to paper Mario oh god oh god whoa what are you doing man what was that he came to attack me after he shot me man good thing we're not letting them build up any star points or dark star points rather because then that would really screw us up oh god Okay, I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that till the last second. Thank goodness I remembered. How do you guys like that? Okay, so now we have a defense down for these guys, which decreases their defense points by 20%. And then we also have another POW increase. I don't necessarily know if I could use two POW increases at once. I don't see why I couldn't, but I feel like I've done it before and it didn't do any, like, increasing to my POW. I feel like it just, like, it increases it once and that's it. And then once it runs out, you can use that card again to increase your POW again for a second time. Uh, however, I personally would prefer if it were, like... I use the POW increase, I get like 20%, and then I in use it again to get another 20% increase. That would be amazing. I don't see why they don't do that. Because when you think about it, it's like using two um, heart cards at once. Like, you use one and then use another. What's preventing you from using a second heart card if you really need health, you know? It's the same way, except for POW points. I feel like you should be able to use POW points as many times as you want, or increase your POW as many times as you want, because ultimately... I'm paying for these battle cards, so I deserve to increase my POW as much as I want, man. Because um, then again, I don't think many people would go about blowing all of their coins just on POW increasing battle cards. Um, but anywho, once again, back to this. Attacking my boy Ludwig, a.k.a. Ludwig von Koopa. And uh, just using this drill shell attack, does some damage. 92! Why does it do less damage every time, man? How do you keep doing that? We're going to have to do something about this. What are you talking about, man? Okay, so uh, we got another one of these. We're going to go ahead and attack him. I'm not sure how much damage this one does. It does a flat 30, and it takes 6 star points. How come the other one only took, like, 4 star points, and it did, like, 3 attacks of 10? Where it attacked, like, all the enemies as opposed to just, like... I don't know, actually, why they, they're they different. Even though, technically, they are the same card. Doesn't make much sense, but 
I got to do some more card research just to figure out which cards I like the most and which cards I will be using the most. But oh my god, they have another one of these. So am I attacking like the bob -omb or the shy guys? I, I mean, I can attack the shy guys, so I guess I'm attacking the shy guys, right? It only makes sense, right? To push. Oh, I get it. I get it. You're supposed to push this or attack all the shy guys so then the bomb falls, I think. And did it work? It didn't work. I took the damage. Oh, gosh. Dang it. Holy crap. What is going on? They got five dark star points like that. How did that even happen? They get a star point based on every time they attack me. What? No way. Okay, so this is going to make it actually a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Well, this is interesting. I need to not get hit. That's what needs to happen. Do not get hit, man. Okay, who's going to attack first? Mario, Luigi, and then Paper Mario. Shortly to follow. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're good. Wow, that is crazy. So every time they attack me and they land a successful attack, they get a dark star point, like, full on. So they just need, like, if they attack us all in one swoop, then that's three dark star points for them. Okay, um, I guess the only thing I can do is just attack them right now. I don't want to waste time trying to heal my characters. Just because, like I said, in previous battles before, I feel like healing up your characters is what honestly screws you over from winning the battle most of the time. Just because you're actually wasting a turn healing up your character just so then the enemy can attack you again. Especially when it's in battles that have, like, enemies that attack you using attacks that you don't know how to dodge or counter attack. Then, that, yeah, you're really screwing yourself up. You might as well just attack until you actually die and you can't attack anymore and then you need to heal. But don't heal midway through, at least in my opinion. It seems to be working out for me, and it's always worked out for me just doing it like that. So I think I'm going to continue doing it like that from now on. But I wonder how much damage this done. Only 75. I feel like it's doing lesser and lesser damage every single time. Even though both of these guys have a low defense rate right now. But anyways, we're going to be using this card to increase some HP, of course, because I want some HP back. Um, I feel like I need it. And uh, unlike mushrooms and nuts and all that other stuff, cards, battle cards, do not take a turn from you because you can use them whenever the heck you want. And I clearly put it there for a reason for me to use it. But 112 damage, a lot better than the last one that we did, which didn't do... I, it, I don't even think it broke 100 points, honestly. And now he's going to attack me again. Oh, God. Okay, shoot me. Oh, he's doing it again. Are you kidding me? Of course, man. Once I figure out how to do it, he's going to do it again. And then you're going to attack Paper Mario. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I forgot. He does attack me like that. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was close. We landed directly on his head. But they still got a star point from that attack that they did on Mario. And then what did they do? What did that do? This card increases our pal. Look out. Larry, we just need three Dark Star Points to use this bad boy. But what did they just do right now? You got it, boss. Dark Star Points coming up. Um, I really don't know what they did. Okay. I, I, they played a card, but they, they didn't specify. Unless they didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's see what we got here. How much damage can we do, baby? Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Wait, what? Zero damage? Oh, did they push? Okay. I guess that Star Point or that, that card that they used was to build... Shields around them, I guess. But this time around, I'm not going to let the bob bomb kill me. Okay, come on. Shoot these shy guys on the left. I'm going to shoot these guys. I'm going to try to get rid of one side. Because if I get rid of this side completely, then it should fall. Yep, just like that. Perfect. Perfect, my friends. And with that... Oh my god, Ludwig actually dies. Or aka Ludwig dies. Clean. Nice and clean. I was actually focusing on Ludwig over Larry because Ludwig is, in fact, the boss, according to Larry. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use this to also... Oh, I don't have enough points for it. Well, that sucks. Um, okay. I guess we could do Trio World Gig. The cool thing is I've noticed that with battles like these, my bro attack points never go under. Like, I never have to use Syrup Charge, which is amazing because... Throughout all of the Mario and Luigi games that I've played, I felt like with all of the battles that I've played through, like the major ones like this, I always would have to constantly use Syrup Jars throughout the battles. And with this game, I feel like I don't have to, which is good. It's either because my bro points are really high or because I'm beating them before I'm able to run through my bro points completely, if that makes sense. And Shazam, excellent hit. It's like impossible for me not to get an excellent on this. I'm just like so good at it right now. It's so amazing. Makes me excited for the other bro attacks because it feels like I feel like every new trio attack that we get with Paper Mario, it, it's just always better than the previous one that we got. Oh my lord! I remember when uh, who was it? 
Was it Roy that did this? Roy and Wendy that did this? I don't remember. Somebody did an attack like this. It was messed up, dude. But thank God it's going to Paper Mario. Because these things take a ton of damage if they land on you. Look at that. 290 or 39 damage on freaking Ludwig. Or, I mean, on Larry. That's how much damage it dealt. And that just goes to show how much HP he's had in comparison to Ludwig. Because we were just focusing down Ludwig. But we're going to do this drill shell. Hopefully this should kill him, I think. I mean, with the trio attacks, at least, we've been dealing damage on both of these guys. But with Mario and Luigi, I've just been focusing down Ludwig. Or, yeah, Ludwig. I'm going to I'm gonna call him Ludwig. Who cares, man? Um, okay, he's still alive. So we're going to go ahead and do this move again. They're level 24? Yo, these guys are way more powerful than I am. I'm just saying, dude. They are definitely a lot more powerful than I am. I'm just, like, very lucky that I had, like, a very like perfect set of battle cards because honestly the battle cards are what made it how many like free points did i get oh and there you go larry's dead but how many free points did i get just by using battle cards that actually dealt damage directly onto them and then on top of that my pow increase the defense decrease that i gave to them like overall battle cards are just super nice man they're amazing i love battle cards in this game seriously they outbeat badges any day, in my opinion. And I'm really glad that they didn't put badges in this game. Because then they would have been, like, either battle badges or battle cards. It could have been nice for people that, like, grew up with... That prefer badges over battle cards. But if you have battle cards, man... I don't see why you'd want to use badges. Just saying, dude. And then Paper Mario, of course, levels up to level 23. So they were literally just level 21, I think, like, two episodes ago. Or, like, last episode. And now they're 23. Amazing. Ow! Ugh! You're not as wimpy as you look. Of course not, man. Whatever, we'll be passing through now. Ugh, that was all a part of the plan. Don't think you could just waltz up to Bowser's castle. Oh, God, really? Or, you know, do think that because, like I said, losing was totally our plan. Well, I was actually planning on going up to Bowser's castle today. But now that he said that, I don't think I want to do it anymore because... Two things now that I'm unprepared for. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like right below this video as it really goes a long way with helping showing your support for the series. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>